Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial and this tutorial is going to be about the camera shake system so I've got someone I've got two people that asked me how I can make this camera movement and I'm going to do the tutorial right now so basically when you walk and each step you land then there is going to play an animation the camera shake which is this one right here so this is going to basically simulate the motion of speed and you can get a better realism of the camera movement when your character is running like so so i think it adds a little bit more realism to the game And you also, when you jump, and you also play as a camera shake when you land. So each time you land, it's going to play a camera shake. So this is going to be it, and let's go for the tutorial. The first thing we're going to do here, we're going to go to the character animation blueprint. And somewhere in your code, you might have the plan space for making the character to walk, run, so we're going to double click on that blend space and as you can see here when I hover and I go here on the animation for sprint impulse forward and let's actually get sprint forward sprint forward so what are you going to do you're going to access that animation sequence it's called sprint forward. So as you can see, whoops. So as you can see here on the notifies, we have one, two, three. So what you're going to do in your project, if you don't have a slot for a new animation, uh, if you don't have a slot yet, so you can just create a notify track. And yeah, you can basically add uh, this one right here if you don't have one. So you can right click, add a animation notify and you're gonna go to here skeleton notifies and as soon as you click on that then you're going to choose and select your notify name it can be whatever you want so i'm going to type whatever notify so you're going to place this whatever notify as soon as the character lands his foot so this is going to apply for the, for the first foot for the left foot and also for the right foot so as soon as the character lands his foot, then you're going to copy this whatever notify here and place it there, like so. Like that. So I think generally you're going to you're going to place notifies two times in one animation sequence of the character walking or running, and then you're going to remember this name, which is called whatever notify. That's the name of our notify. Now let's go to the animation event uh, blueprint. Now let's go to the animation blueprint inside the event graph. So what we're gonna do? What we're gonna basically do? We're going to access the event that is going to be triggered. Uh, whenever this frame of the animation is played okay so we're going to right click and type whatever notify now what we're going to do here we're going to well basically everything that is run after this whatever notify here is going to be executed so as soon as this animation as soon as this frame here is played uh, we're going to generate, we're going to execute this code here. So let's say, for example, um, hello. I want to print hello every time the character steps, uh, lands his foot on the ground. So I'm going to press and play here. So when I run, then it's going to print reload the painting uh, if the character just landed his foot. So uh, each time the character lands his foot on the ground, then it's going to print hello on my screen. 
So what we can do with this, we can play world camera shape. And here you're going to select the class, the epic center and the inner and outer radius. So let's select first the inner and outer radius. You can put a random value here into inner radius and outer radius. The epic center is going to be the location of the character. So we're going to drag and drop the character reference here and get actor location. And that's going to serve us for the location of where the camera shake is going to be affected. Now here on the class, select class. So I have created a lot of uh, camera shakes, which uh, I'm going to create one by scratch. So you can basically have an idea of how, how to create one. Uh, the one that I use for this specific event here is footstep events and is this printing. So I'm going to browse the asset and double click on that. So here you have the settings where, that I use for this printing. So here the oscillation duration is 0.7 and you have all these other settings here for you to be choosing. You can choose the same settings as I have here, it doesn't matter. Uh, as soon as it works, it's all fine. But if you want to create a new one, if you don't know how to create one, it's very simple. Uh, to create a world camera shake, you can just right click on it uh, on an empty space and then you can, you're going to go to the blueprint class and here on the all classes, you're going to say camera shake. And here, uh, you can choose here on the matinee camera shake or the camera shake base. I think both of them works. I'm going to choose and select the matinee camera shake and click on select. And here we're going to choose the name of it. So we're going to, we're going to name it as a sprint impulse and then enter. Now we're going to compile, save, close that. And then you're going to open up again. So you're going to have all the settings for you to set up based on your preferences. Uh, so you can copy all the settings from the original sprinting, which is uh, available for you to copy and paste it to your uh, settings there. Now, if you want to create the land event, so I have another camera shake, which is just for the fall damage shake. And I, if I double click, if I browse to the assets, I double click on it. And as you can see, I have different settings. So you can use the settings on your project as well, if you want to. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to set this up. If I go to my default locomotion, I have a bunch of events and one of them is for landing. So if I double click on this, and as you can see, I have a additive. If I double click on that, and as you can see here, as soon as it lands, well, actually, there is another better way to do this. If you click on here on land, and you go here on entered state event on the animation state. So you can basically create an event and this event is going to be triggered as soon as this state machine is going to be, as soon as this event is going to be triggered. So let's say for, let's say for example, you're idling and you jump. So we're going to be switching states. Uh, the state of idle is going to go to the jump. So we're going to pass from idle to jump. And as soon as we, go for the jump event, then we can choose, uh, we can create a new event. And uh, this event is going to be triggered as soon as the idle animation is going to be, as soon as the jump event is going to be triggered. So you can execute anything in this event here. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on land. If you have on your, on your project, uh, if you don't have, you can create one but uh, I have a state only for landing, so you can click on that. And here on the enter state event, you're going to choose a name minus save jump time. So what you're gonna do, you're going to go to your 
event graph. Uh, actually remember that name that you've wrote there. And then here you're going to write the name that you've wrote there. So here in my case is save uh, jump time. So you can add a new uh, event here. And as soon as everything that is executed here is going to be executed as soon as the state is triggered. I hope you understood. As you can see, the camera boom is this kind of sort of red line here. And it basically controls the it basically controls the location of the follow camera. So if you click here on camera boom and here on the parent socket, as our camera boom is attached to the mesh, we can choose a socket of where this camera boom is going to be. So if the camera boom represents the location of where the camera, the follow camera is going to be at, we can say to the camera boom, hey, camera boom, follow the location of this specific bone. And by following the location of a specific bone, the camera rotation and location is going to change depending on the movement of the character. So if I choose, for example, spine one, as you can see, it changed a little bit the location, but we can place that into there. We can place it back there and make sure it is aligned with the character. Now when I press play here, now the camera is following the spine. So the camera location is now following in the spine, which is which is pretty useful if you're, for example, playing an animation montage. And if you want to have that kind of more realism to your game, and it adds a little bit of realism and motion of speed. So you can add to any bone that you want, for example, hand underline R, and you can add it to your arm, to your hand. So as you can see, my hand goes back and forth and my camera also follows that same location. Now the rotation is still is the same, uh, all it does is just changes the location of my, where my camera is going to be at, depending on the location of the hand of the specific bond that you have attached to the camera. So I prefer, my preference is to choose the spine zero one. It's less, um, I would say it's less artificial. So when you press on play here, let's try the spine zero three to be a little bit more steady and dynamic at the same time. So you don't lose focus on the character that you're controlling. And as you can see there, when my character moves his body a little bit, the camera kind of shakes and that's going to be pretty cool. That's it. That is pretty cool. If you want to use that in your project, I totally recommend it, but there should be a way that you can change where the camera is attached to the body. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, so you could basically choose which and where the camera should be attached to which bone. For example, when you play an idle animation, you want the camera to be attached to the spine three because that gives a little bit more motion and the character feels a li little bit more alive when the camera is shaking and his body is moving and the camera also moves uh, synchronized with his body. So that's basically how you set up the camera system. Uh, I haven't gone through that much. I think you guys understood it. But if you have any questions, you can comment down below and I can assist you on what you need. Okay, so that's basically going to be it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment down below and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.